In this example, you will learn about uh, the second algorithm, which is the perceptron algorithm, how, can, how it can be used uh, to train the neuron. So, but first thing first is that one of the limitation of the Herbian algorithm is that uh, for the Herbian algorithm, you just uh, do the training session for each of the iteration. You just update the wake in every step of the iteration process. But uh, there is some issue there because of in some situation, the model is optimal, already optimal. So means that we don't have to perform any update for that particular uh, reason. So uh, that's one of the limitation of the Herbian. It will just blindly update uh, the weight in every step. So that limitation was overcome by the, uh, the second algorithm, which is the perceptron. So what is the difference between perceptron and the Herbian instead? For the perceptron, it will uh, do the, uh, in every iteration step, it will uh, do the checking about the condition of the model, whether it is optimal or not. If the model is optimal, so means that uh, the predicted output will be the same with the target, so means that uh, no weight adaptation will be performed. So no process of the uh, weight adaptation process will be executed. So uh, the same thing is happening also for the uh, weight and the bias. So let's look at the algorithm in general. So basically this is the step. So the first step is uh, the same thing to random the initial weight, which is the same with the Herbian. So the second one is that uh, this is the difference of the step. So for the uh, perceptron algorithm, it will uh, threshold the summation value with respect to theta. And then we give the value of y uh, is according to the output of the threshold equation. So if you still remember for the Herbian, Herbian is just straight away y equal to t for every step of the iteration. But it will be quite different for the perceptron. So why we why the perceptron do the uh, threshold process? Because of it will be used in the updating process. So for this case, uh, the equation for the weight adaptation of the perceptron will be W new equal to W old plus N, which is the learning rate. X is the input and then times T minus Y. T minus Y means that this is the target minus the uh, predicted output. So in a situation where T minus Y <coughs> means that your uh, value of Y is equal to the value of target. So in this case, this part will be zero. So in this case, your W new will be equal to W old straight away. So it means that if you're optimal, don't have any error, T minus Y, you can think about some sort of the error. If you don't have any error, then just take the previous week. If you have some error here, then you need to update uh, the new week with respect to the some sort of this uh, value rate of change between the T minus Y. So the same thing with bias. So for the equation of bias will be bn, b new equal to b old plus n, t minus y. So the same thing, if t minus y is equal to zero, so for this particular case, your b new will be equal to b old. Okay, so let's perform the training session of the perceptron. So for this particular case, we have the same sample here in which we have the uh, all sample. Uh, and then we have the same model. So uh, let's do the training session. So uh, first thing first is check. I just fill up all the value of the input and target uh, into the table. So in this case, uh, I just fill up everything. 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And also the target will be 1, 1, 1, 0. But that's it. Previously, we just take straight away y will be equal to t, but not in the perceptron. So now, how we perform the training process? So let's uh, calculate this part and then do the update first. So we need to calculate in terms of the summation of input for every particular situation. So in this case, we have the uh, summation of input here equation. So for the summation input here, so let's say the value will be 1, 1, 0. We have value of x1 will be equal to 1 here. And then x2 will be also equal to 1. And then we have the bias value the here will be equal to 0. So in this case, uh, 1, 1, 0. So means that the summation of value will be equal to 2. So once we uh, find the summation value, so the next part is we find the value of y. So the value of y 
you can find it by performing the threshold process thresholding process with respect to the value of one so for this particular case uh, since our value summation of value here two two will be we are in this stage okay just uh, just need to remember we have sum up everything we have the value of two so now so uh, either the model should be triggered or not so in this case uh, two since we set our theta our theta here will be equal to one so two is higher than one so for this particular case our y will be equal to one since it will be prior up so uh, since our uh, model also our product output will be equal to one so we can perform the updating process the weak adaptation by using this equation so if i as i mentioned previously if t minus one will be equal to zero means that the value of t equal the value of y so you don't have to perform any updating process you just straight away take this previous weight so in this particular case your y will be equal to t so for this particular case we can we can straight away take the previous value of weight means that uh the the given initial weight is uh optimal enough so the same thing for for the b so for the b since uh the same equation t minus y equal to zero we just straight away take the previous value of weight so we are settled in terms of the first iteration so now uh let's move on to the second part of the iteration so for the second iteration uh, for this particular case we put one zero here so it means that the value here will be one and then the x2 will be 0. So 1, 0 here means that uh, the summation of value uh, plus the bias will be equal to 1. Okay. So now we have the value here equal to 1. So for this particular case, the next part is uh, how we're able to calculate the y. So uh, since 1, the value of your 1 will be equal to 1. So for this particular case, your neuron will be our neuron will be fire up which is the value will be equal to one so for this particular case the same thing since your uh, y predicted output is the same with respect to the target so for this case we can straight away take the same value of weight and also the same value of bias so let's move on to the third iteration so for the third iteration it will be uh, this part will be zero this part will be one so this part also will be zero so we have the same value of summation of one so for this particular case since the summation value of uh, the left part of neuron is equal to one so that the predicted output will be also equal to one so for this particular case since the value is the same target uh, the predicted output is the same with the target so for this particular case, you have the same value for weight and also the bias. And then we move on to the final part. So for the final part, we just fed 0, 0 here. So if this part is 0, this part is 0, and then the bias part also will be 0. So the left part of the neuron, the summation will be 0 for everything. So for this particular case, uh, since our value here is 0, so 0 is actually less than 1 so 0 is definitely less than 1 so for this particular case we can say that the output of y will be equal to 0 because neuron will not fire because of the value the summation of value here less than the threshold value of 1 so for that particular case your neuron will not fire so you just put the value of 0 which is the neuron is not fire up so for this particular case if you check off this part so your predicted output is the same with the target so it's the same thing so your value of weight and bias will be the same uh, with respect to the previous one so uh, for this particular case what we can say is that our first initial random value is optimal enough uh, to predict uh, the model based on the given sample so let's uh, do the assessment whether it is correct or not based on the uh, given value so i move this thing uh, more upward a bit okay so now uh, 
let's do the assessment based on the uh, value here so for this case uh, we just draw the same model i just put here x1 x2 and then this is the value of bias in which we have summation and then the value here is theta and then this is y prime which is the uh, the output so we fed uh, the weight after we perform the after the fourth iteration so in this case this is one one this thing will be uh, zero so the next part our sample okay uh, i just draw the same thing x1 x2 t and then y prime so this is x1 x2 this will be t this will be y prime so I just put the value 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 and then this thing will be 0 0 so we have all the part here so the target will be 1 1 1 0 okay now uh, next part let's do the uh, let's check the value so if we fed the value here uh, 1 1 here 1 1 here so this is 1 1 so 0 you have the value of 2 so 2 is definitely higher than 1 because of our theta equal to 1 so for this case your y prime will be equal to 1 which is correct then the second part you fed 1 0 1 0 so you have the value of 1 so 1 will be equal to 1 which is in this case your y prime will be fire up which is the value will be equal to 1 so it's correct so the same thing with the 0 1 0 1 means that uh, left side summation of everything will be equal to 1 so since uh, the value 1 is equal to the threshold so your y prime will be fire up so you can put here as 1 so the final part will be uh, 0 0 0 0 everything in the left side will be 0 so since 0 is less than 1 so for that particular case you have the value of y prime of 0 since it will, it will not fire up so all thing will, was actually correct so you can see that you have gained the 100% uh, performance accuracy so uh, in the condition let's say if your value is not uh, the same means that if the value of y is not the same with the t with the target so in that particular case you need to perform the updating process and then the updating process will be the same with the previous one that have been right you just need to multiply with respect to the n and which is the learning rate 0.5 x is the input of this particular condition and then you can uh, estimate or predict the new value of weight thank you